Managing operations efficiently can be a challenge, but with the right tools, it becomes a breeze. In today's video, we will show you how to use Safety Culture, a powerful operations management software that helps businesses streamline inspections, audits, and workflows effortlessly. Whether you're looking to improve workplace safety, track tasks, or automate reports, Safety Culture has everything you need to stay on top of operations. So if you're ready to simplify your workflow and boost efficiency, let's dive right in by going to the official website, which is gonna be safetyculture.com. On the top corner, you have two options. You can log in using your credentials or you can sign up for free. All I have to do is click this button and you will be forwarded to a new page wherein all I have to do is provide all the information needed. Work email, first and last name, phone number, and of course, a secure and strong password. And then, once you have successfully created your account, you will be forwarded to the main page of Safety Culture. You would easily notice that Safety Culture is a platform designed to help businesses improve workplace safety, quality, and efficiency. All right. The first thing that you notice is the home page. Home page is going to be the dashboard where you get an overview of key activities like browse sample templates, summary, inspections, activity. You can also find pre-made template or you can build your template later or view sample report. Basically, it's a um, central hub for managing safety and compliance. Now, the next section on the left side panel of your dashboard is the search button. It's our search function. This is a section to quickly find inspections, templates, basically a lot. You see right here, you have the option to use the shortcut control of plus shift plus F so that you can navigate large amounts of data efficiently. For example, templates, type it here, press enter, and you have that. Okay. Now, the next section is going to be the notifications. Notifications basically displays alerts. All right, for assigned tasks, inspections, issues, or important updates. You have also the capability to, all right, adjust the settings accordingly to your preference. So you can keep your teams informed about safety concerns and deadlines. Now we're gonna go to the most important part of safety culture. It gives you the template. Now, the template section is a library where users can create and manage checklists for inspections, audits, and assessments. You see that there are three options for you to choose from. One is you can start from scratch, get started with a blank template, which is only advisable if you're already familiar with a safety culture or you have a decent amount of experience or immerse already. You also have an option to describe a topic, enter a text prompt about your template. It's AI driven. But I'm not gonna suggest you uh, do this. Instead, I need you to choose the third option, which is finding pre-made template. You can choose from over 100,000 editable templates. All you have to do is really easy. Click this button right here. You can choose from any of the following. You can filter by industry, by constructions, general food and hospitality, manufacturing, transport and logistics, agriculture, professional services, cleaning, education. So how about we go for um, construction for inspection, right? So you have all of these incident report, first response, task hazard or HVAC inspection checklist. So we're going to use this uh, first incident report, full investigation and report. All we have to do is click this button right here. You will be forwarded to start this inspection. Now you can manage by clicking the edit this template. It will be forwarded to the template builder. It takes a little while. So loading times may vary depending on your internet connection. So you can put in the question number, document number you can put in here. You can add logic if you want, audit title, for example. How about we use this one? Now, for the logic, if you are have like a background using this, you might want to use that for conditioning uh, workflow. But I'm not I'm, I'm not suggesting you do this because it requires learning curve. 
you can add a new one if you want a question a section or a page so you can uh, fully control what you want to add in for your incident report since it's a full investigation and then you go down here incident details date and time location summary all right and then after that once you've finalized all of the information for the template click the publish button there's going to be three dots here if you want to revert changes from the default but i highly suggest you click this publish button right here all right now you have already um an incident report you can of course download the template as pdf if you want but we're gonna skip that since we have already saved the uh, template for now we're going to go to the inspection section all right this is where teams conduct digital audits safety checks and compliance inspections how now if you start an inspection all right since we have already created a template right here if you click on create what will happen is it will be, it will be forwarded to the inspection all right again you can find and customize a template from the public library you can also convert an image or pdf describe topic and create a bl blank page or blank template for that matter now we're going back here because we're dealing with the schedules schedules where teams or where is a section where teams can use for planning and assigning inspections and audits you see there's going to be a schedule inspection on the top right corner add the template which we have created earlier that's going to be in the incident report site it's up to you if you wanted to add a site click on that asset is these options assigned to if you for example if you have a team member or a client working for this specific date for inspection and click the create button all right now the actions we're gonna discard that i'm just showing you around it's an option that you can track follow-up tasks based on inspections or issues found if you want to create an action so that you can assign corrective actions to specific team members with headlines you can do that for example you can choose the priority from low medium and high so we're going to use medium for now and click the create button so we have that we're going to go back again to the main dashboard we're going to go to the training training is a section for managing employees allowing you to assign courses track completion and ensure compliance with safety regulations if you have an existing training you might want to click that and if you want to create a training you can do that you can also create course create with ai convert document create a blank you can also have the option to browse 1000 plus free training courses for for example from cardiac arrest to fast tracker impact toolbox talk template you have all these you can preview you can import you can do a lot from the course library and then that's going to be for the training and we have the assets wherein you can keep a record of company equipment vehicles or facilities if you click the add asset you have you can basically add a bulk assets here so that you can help track maintenance schedules and safety compliance for each asset or integrate from other system depending on your preference if you click that you will be forwarded to these third-party services that is partners with a safety culture all right Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Power BI, Pro Core, Power BI, and a lot more. So we're going to skip that. Instead, we're going to the issues. Now, issues are used to report track workplace, uh, workplace hazards, incidents, or safety concerns. All I have to do is report an issue so that you ensure these are resolved through proper documentation and follow-ups. So you can choose from hazard, incident, maintenance, near, near missed, an observation so you have all of that now the heads up is something that a tool for sending announcements safety all right and policy changes ensuring employees are aware of any critical safety information all right so we're gonna skip that next is gonna be the sensors sensors integrates with iot devices to monitor environmental conditions like temperature humidity or air quality essentially it helps businesses automate safety monitoring and prevent risks now the next section is going to be the marketplace now marketplace is a hub for additional resources if you click the explorer now you will be forwarded to this 
you have all these integrations in premium templates okay you can expand safety culture's capabilities with industry specific solutions not only that you also have an option for the analytics which provides reports and insights from inspections issues and training data it will help you to create a dashboard so you can help businesses track trends identify risks and improve safety performance once you get a hold and be familiarized with safety culture you have an option to try their premium for free all right if you click that it will be forwarded here no payment details required all you have to do is click this button to try premium for free all right now moving along you would notice you can leverage the premium trial for 30 days all right and basically that's a wrap on how to use a safety culture for operations management i hope this video helped you get started and make the most out of this powerful tool thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video